nearly four dozen Afghan troops training in the U.S. have vanished in less than two years. So why is, why are they going AWOL, and is this a threat to our security? Pete Hegseth is a Fox News contributor and an Iraq and Afghanistan war veteran, and he joins us now with his reaction to this. You know, we're bringing this to people's attentions this morning mm -hmm. because it really is shocking when you say that, but this is something that you're familiar with. Uh, very much indeed. It's shocking, but it's something that's been going on for quite some time. I was a trainer uh, in Afghanistan in 2011-2012. This was a concern of ours uh, when we sent Afghans either to Europe or the United States. Because you got to remember, in the mindset of some of these Afghans, uh, they're stuck inside an intractable war where the Taliban is gaining ground and gaining momentum, and the Americans are going to send them to Europe or the United States to train, and a lot of them see it as their opportunity to get out, to desert. It's not that they're looking to infiltrate like ISIS has with refugees. They're looking to get out of Afghanistan and live in a peaceful country. So in the United States, there's actually a pipeline in some ways of when these guys run off the base, they find somebody, almost an underground railroad type situation mm. with, that moves them across the country and then out to Canada or elsewhere so they can get out. Now, we should still be concerned about the threat because the Taliban has infiltrated uh, the Afghan army as well. Right, so there's no reason to believe that couldn't happen. People hear this, you know, they're disappearing and we don't know where they are. Yep. Is it a threat to national security? It, it could be. It could be. And think about it. If we can't vet <laughs> these guys we've been training for years in the Afghan army to make sure their loyalty is, is due to the state of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Can we really vet the Syrian refugees who we know nothing about? Good point. I mean, these are guys that we've been working with every single day, some of which are we're going to ranger schools, one of the most elite schools in the United States Army. They're there to do that because we think they're that good of an Afghan soldier, mm -hmm. and they leave. So part of the reason also, this underscores how dicey the situation is in Afghanistan. The Taliban controls more ground today than they have since 2001. Uh, we, we were losing ground, and these Afghan troops are, are deserting in rates that are higher than we've seen in the past. Right, and taxpayer money being spent, a, a lot of it, uh, what, $60 billion? Six, $60 billion dollars on training of Afghan forces, mm. and we're behind where we've been before in yeah. Afghanistan. Right. It's unfortunate. Pete, thank you so much. Thank we'll you. keep our eye on this story.